So you've bought Divi and you're just about to design your website and for some reason, your website is not really looking the way you want it to look. Now I've been there. I've started using Divi for a very, very long time. And since I started designing websites, I used to get so frustrated with the fact that every time I try to design my websites, something just doesn't look right. I went back to the drawing board and I realized that I was missing some key formulas that can help you design professional looking websites. And that is basic graphic design. A lot of the tutorials you see out there that tell you how to design websites, they pretty much tell you where to click, but they don't tell you why. And this is where the problem is. So you could go through this whole process of watching all these tutorials. And to be honest, there's a lot of them and I'm guilty of creating some of these tutorials, but you know what? I fixed the problem. What I did now is I said, you know what? Let me save people time and frustrations when they buy Divi. So I created a course called the web design formula. Now it sounds like it's very, very complicated, but it is not. Now, before I talk about the deal that I have for you today, I want to first show you what's in the course and why it is important that you first sign up for this course before you start designing your websites. So when you first sign up for the web design formula, when you log in, you get this dashboard. So this is your main landing dashboard. What you do is you click here on courses, and then this is going to take you to the courses page. And this is where you have a list of all your courses. But the one that you are, you are interested in is the web design formula. So I'm going to come over here and now let's go through what this course has. So first of all, we talk about the hosting. So hosting is very important because you do want to know uh, which hosting companies provide a very good service for the amount of money you're going to pay for. So I have a um, budget version and also a a slightly more expensive version, but of course, uh, this comes with extra features. Okay, so moving on, after we've done all that, I really go in and talk about the theme builder because sometimes what's frustrating is when you try to design a website, you may not know where all these tools are. So understanding the theme builder is very, very important. So I go through all the necessary things that you need to know about the theme builder and show you where these things are. Okay, so once we've done that, I show you how to install Divi. And of course, every website needs a logo. I also show you where the logo goes. And then we explore the settings. So as you can see here, this is very, very detailed. We go through the Divi settings, which are very important before you even start uh, creating your website. Okay, we also talk about the Divi builder itself. We go into depth and then we take a look at pre-made layout. Now, this is one of the best ways that you can start designing your websites. Is there as an option and it has all these pre-made layouts that are done for you. You can use these to create your websites and I show you exactly how to turn these pre-made layouts into your own uh, type of website. Okay, so moving on, we go through the help. Sometimes you're going to get stuck when you use Divi, just like any other software. So I show you where to get help and how to get help. Now, here's the thing. Every time you use Divi, you want to make sure you have some key shortcuts that help you design your websites really, really fast. So again, I go through all these key shortcuts to enable you to design your websites really fast. Now, here we go. This is where now I go through the web design workflow. Now, a lot of you may be thinking, you know what? I'm just going to go in and design my website and it's going to look great. No, that's not how it works. You need to go through a process. So this is where I go through the process. I show you how to plan. I also show you how, where to get inspiration. We talk about color ideas and color theory. Now, this is where graphic design comes in. All random colors when you design your website don't really work. It makes your website look awful. There is a color hum or color formula that you need to follow in order for your websites to look great. So this is where you create your color palette. I show you how to do this. Moving on, we also talk about fonts. Now, a lot of websites I see out there use pretty much all the fonts out there on the same website. This does not make your website look professional. Now, remember earlier on, I did mention that when you start creating your website after you've just bought Divi, for some reason, sometimes it looks like things are not just working out. These key things that I've just mentioned here are part of the reason why your website 
doesn't look great. You need to understand uh, the, the color theory. You need to understand the fonts that you use, the layout, and also how to use images on your website. All right, so moving on, we now go into the web design process. Now, how I've uh, designed this course is to design it in such a way that you get a design brief. Now, this even if you're designing your own website, you do need some sort of uh, guideline or a brief and then answer that brief as you're designing your website. So I go through this brief. We create the color palette together because, um, of course, it's going to be difficult if you haven't done graphic design to know how to choose the colors that work well together. So this is where I show you how to create a palette. I also show you how to choose your fonts. And I also show you websites to go to to find great images. OK, so moving on, this is where now we create the style guide. When you design your website, you're going to need some sort of way of making sure everything that you have on your website is consistent. Now, what I mean by that is when you have, let's say, a specific size for your paragraph text, it needs to be the same throughout the whole website. It's very, very important. Your headings, if they are a specific size or a specific font, it needs to be the same across the whole website. So consistency is part of creating professionally looking websites. Next, let's talk about templates. Templates are what makes your design process very, very easy. You can just design your header, you design your footer or any other parts of your website. And these changes get applied across the whole website, even if the website has a thousand pages. So I go through and show you how templates are used in Divi. Now, not only do I show you how or how to use these templates, I also go through a proper project where I create some templates for you because at the end of this course, you are going to have a fully functioning website, which is based on a design brief. So this is very, very powerful. And uh, there's a few courses out there that go through this whole process. Now, let's say you've gone through all of this. You've created your templates. You've created your style guide. You've added your fonts and everything. It's time now to launch. Now, this is where a lot of people, again, just go ahead and launch their website. So in this course, I also show you how to launch your website. So first of all, before you launch it, you need to submit it to Google so that it gets it into its index, right? This is very, very powerful because when people search for your website, they need to find it. So I show you how to do that. I also show you how to assign user role, roles just in case you're designing this website for someone else and you don't want them to mess it all up. Next, uh, I show you how to secure your website because security is very important. After all this hard work, you don't want your website to be hacked. That is very, very painful. And trust me, I've been there. Right, so moving on, you also need to speed up your website because a fast website is good experience for all your visitors. And then I also show you how to add Google Analytics to your website so you can track how your website is performing. And then finally, we add the SEO plugin. Right, so you may be thinking, Mac, wow, that's a lot of things. Well, yes, but these are done in a structure and it's very, very easy for you to understand as you go through this course. Now, you may be thinking, how much is this gonna cost? Well, this is where now we come to the price. And like I said, this is a special deal for those of you that have bought Divi and want to get up and running really fast. So the deal is I'm offering a 70% discount on the web design formula. This course pretty much has everything that you need to know about web design and also teach you how to get up and running really fast. So normally this course costs about 497. I'm doing a special deal and this is a one-time offer, 70% off. 70% off. Yes. I want to help you get up and running really fast. I don't want you to go and get a refund. Divi is very, very powerful. I use it on my uh, own projects. I design websites for clients using Divi and I've used it for 10 years. It's powerful. So I don't want you to get frustrated and just you know, not use Divi at all. I want you to get up and running really fast. And this is why I'm giving this one-time offer. And if you are serious, I know you'll take advantage of this right away. So this is the 70% uh, off. All you have to do is to use this WDF70, the Web Design Formula 70. This will give you the 70% discount. So you're only getting this course at 149. So you may be thinking, well, mm, well, I don't really need the course. Well, this course is for you if 
you are an entrepreneur, you want to design your website and grow your online business. Divi will do a very good job of that. And this course will help you get up and running fast because the principles of creating landing pages, opt-in pages and so on, you are going to get them from this course. Secondly, if you're going to be a freelance designer, again, this is going to give you all the groundwork that you're going to need in order for you to design professional looking websites for your clients. This is also great for someone who wants to create an agency. These are the principles that you need in web design, which will help you design professional looking websites. So and this can go on and on and on and on. I want you to take advantage of how powerful Divi is and how you can use it efficiently. So this is the offer that I have for you today. It is seven. 70% off and it is 149. This will give you access to the web design formula, the course that we've just gone through. So make sure you get your copy as soon as possible. This offer is not there forever. It is going to go back to the normal price very, very soon. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.